Oh, how much power is inside of the black katana? Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the T-Line Black Edition from Tactical Paddle. Uh, the response on the El Toro was amazing. I didn't know that a video about the racket uh, could get so much response. Uh, everything that I said was completely true. This is the way I feel about the racket. Tactical Paddle also made a new racket. And this is the new Katana, which looks amazing. Uh, made in Spain handmade in Spain and the material uh, is different they said it was an upgrade from the latest version of the katana today we're going to try that out so I am curious to know how and where the improvement is the design is more matte than shiny it also has the 3d surface so that's that was already there so besides the design we're going to find out what they improved Vamos, vamos. Huh, look how, how much rotation. The first feeling of the racket, it is very light, very easy to maneuver. It is easier to maneuver than last year's version. What I also like about the rackets when I was following is that you really feel that the ball is coming into the racket, just like with the El Toro. So it, it's when you hit the ball, you will feel like you have a lot of control. And as you see in the in the last uh, volley, you can get you can add a lot of rotation to the ball. Um, it's a very very flexible racket. I think one of the very similar to the blue katana of uh, last year the, um, I haven't tried the newest version yet but this is so easy to I feel like I do this the ball goes over the net I like it because it's a little bit more round shaped so I think this is a racket that you should play with if you're playing with control if you're playing on the right or you're playing on the left without too much of acceleration now I would like to test the power of the racket how much power is inside of the black katana oh holy shit shoot bro racket The racket is now on racketteam.com. So if you want one, come get one in the link below. Watch out. Kick. What a bounce. Sorry. Vamos. Look, just play with kick on the yellow marker, not like this. Everybody can play with the katana. So if you're a beginner, you're medium, you're advanced, everybody can play with the racket because it's so easy to maneuver around and it has a lot of control. So a racket for everybody. Hoppa. If you are looking for control, this is your racket. It is very easy to play with, very easy to maneuver around. Um, it is important, if you want to play well with this racket, you should play without force. So if you are going to destroy the ball, you will not have control. 
if you play and let it happen with the katana black, the ball goes extremely well. So if you're looking to maybe upgrade your game or force yourself as well to play this not forcible speed, then the katana black is a very, very good option. I find it very easy to play the bandeja, vibora, very easy. Uh, kick smash, very easy. Flat smash, fast, a little bit more difficult. Flat smash. Okay, straight, be careful. Okay, with kick straight. Okay, to this, yeah. So it goes back over the net. Yeah, so around second post, the ball bounces when I play fast smash, quite high. If you're looking for control, if you play on the right, this is so good. If you're playing on the left, I would recommend to play with the El Toro, because you have a little bit more power because the shape is more teardrop. So I think you have to choose in between of those. And uh, it, this Katana Black is easy to maneuver around than the El Toro. So with the low volleys, low defense, this will be much easier. If you have any questions about the racket, then please let me know. And as always, see you next Monday. Hasta luego. Ciao, adios.